Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's a young man of many talents, a singer, songwriter, producer, and actor, best known for his roles in Spider-Man 2, uh, Disney's channels Shake It Up, and owns hit series Greenleaf. Now he's stretching his acting muscles in a gritty and powerful new role as Bobby DeBarge in TV One's new original film, The Bobby, Bar the Bobby DeBarge Story. Let's take a look at it. How about, how, how about we do this? You let me concentrate on my life. Okay, you, you let me concentrate on mine, and I'll let you lie to the ladies that you're a debauch. Cause, cause we all know that's the only way you gonna get your sorry laid. Okay, that's the less, I'll give you a few of my leftovers. Boy, you, no, 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 no. Well, now Greg, be cool. Woohoo! please Ooh, welcome for Sean Fagan. <laughs> Doing? Hey, baby, how you doing? Oh, I'm great. Good, good scene. Hey, hey, hey. What's happening? Oh, what's hey, up, yeah, buttercup? Yeah, Come yeah. on in. Come on in and sit on down. Come in the room. Oh, you are full of yourself in that, in that, yes, in that clip. Yes, my God. That was yeah. everything. I'm just trying to do what I can, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when you <laughs> see yourself in mm -hmm. a scene like that, playing a role like that, mm -hmm. how does it compare and how does it differ to you from any other role you've ever played? I mean, it's different, man. It's a, it's a real person, you know what I mean? Uh, Bobby's legendary, mm -hmm. he is. you know, and uh, he he set the tone for a lot of music in this industry. You yeah, know what I, mean? I agree. And, uh, I'm just I'm just grateful. Yeah, you know, I'm very grateful and very proud and honored to have the uh, opportunity to do something like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's dope. Well, you're, you're doing your thing. Thank I gotta you. tell you, I mean, we've seen you in Greenleaf, yeah. uh, and we've seen you, of course, we talked about Spider-Man too, yeah. and, and, but in Greenleaf, you play this, this, this <laughs> overly talented person who is troubled, yeah. okay, uh -huh. uh, but quite complex. Tell me, how did you tap into that uh, in, in order to, be, to perfect that role? What did you tap into in order to perfect that role? Uh, you know, we, we all go through a lot of things in our lives, mm -hmm. you know, especially relationship-wise, we go through stuff. Now, how old are you? What type of relationship uh, you, you talking know, about? I ain't trying to drop my, <laughs> ain't trying to drop my age on them. But you're in your twin, twin. Yeah, you're in your twin. Look, the, the, the twin half. Okay. <laughs> the twin. <laughs> okay. So, so you talk about relationship. Yeah, so you pull yeah, from yeah. personal relationships. It is. Uh, uh, you know, uh, as an actor, there's certain things uh, as a human mm -hmm. that. I'm not gonna say. Okay, mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. But as an actor, there's certain things that I might wanna say. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and uh. you do say. And and in this role, mm -hmm. I do say. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Well, so. See, I see a little bit of it coming out in you here. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 So wh where did you pull from to play such a role like this? Because you got, you got a little bit in you now. Uh, yeah. you know, I see it. Okay, well, I'm born and raised in LA. Okay. okay. You know, uh, shout out to, to West Side. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a Lamert Park kid, uh, born and raised. My mm -hmm. dad's been in, in the game for a long time. Uh, he, he bred me to be uh, an, a, an actor and, mm -hmm. and a performer. Uh, you really are that. You're a total mm -hmm. performer, honey. Thank you. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> uh, he, he taught me how to, you know, dive into characters and dip in, dip mm -hmm. out, and, and do me. Uh, but being raised in L.A., you know, yeah. and, and so somewhat of South Central, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm, I'm surrounded by a lot of different energies. You see, a, yeah, and you see a lot, and you're able you to, of, to, to mimic a lot of different people. Yes. So and that's I love what it that. is. Yeah. That's what it is. So I picked up on a lot of that, and uh, and, and you know, I just portrayed it. Uh, Real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you did, you did an excellent <laughs> job. Even you just did. a clip. I mean, Thank I you. am captivated. Thank you. So to place a person such as Bobby DeBarge, mm -hmm. I mean, oh, you had to dig deep, I'm sure. Oh, deep, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it also gave you an opportunity to tap into your that's musical right. side. That's right. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's one of the similarities uh, that I find with me and Bobby is that uh, I, I, I share the same passion mm -hmm. uh, as... Uh, a, a music artist and just an artist in general. Yeah. Uh, he was the mastermind behind it all. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to call myself a mastermind because I take pride in being able to write, uh, produce, mix, and master my own music. Yes. Okay. Now, you don't need nobody, do you? Yeah, yeah. That you all got it all, you know all the checks going to come to you. All of your stuff. Ooh. And you know, that's really great. We've been talking about me, yeah. uh, having different streams of income. That's so right. you are all these things, yes. actor, musician, Absolutely. and now, Absolutely. 
clothing line designer. Right, right. Tell us about that. Where'd you so, get your inspiration so that, from? from so that? that comes along with it. It's, uh, it's a movement, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's no longer <laughs> about music. It's about moving the people and getting them involved in something bigger than just listening to stuff. Because anybody can record stuff on their laptop these days. Mm -hmm. You're right, but, you're right. But, but changing people's perspective is something that people are not trying to do anymore. Come on, toi. Uh oh <laughs> Come on, toi. <laughs> you heard him speaking uh -oh. on TV and I see you. <laughs> So much more with, with, with Sean when we return. And we're going to also uh, be joined by some of his cats mates right. from the Bobby DeVarge story, Blue Kimball, and also Adrian Marcel. You don't want to miss it. They're going to join us. Yeah. Yes. Uh, All right. Super fun. Super fun. Honestly, guys, I'm glad you're here, man. For real. Yeah. And I, I'm just ready to get this party started. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Y'all ready? What? I said, are, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready to get in there? Let's do it. In where? In there? Like right now? Like right now. <laughs> All right now, that, wow. made, that made me ready. Yeah. And we're back with Rashawn Fagan and a few other handsome guys from the new TV One film, The Bobby DeBard Story. Blue Campbell and Adrian Marcel. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right, guys. So tell me individually, what attracted you to your roles? Uh, for me, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be just straight up with you. It was the lace front. Come on, Magic. I used to have my hair pressed in high school, let all the girls play with it. You know, yeah. So when he came guy. down to the role, they said, you know, we want you for James. Uh, I said, so I married Janet and I got a lace mm -hmm. front. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> all right, man. All right. How about you? Uh, I mean, like I said, like Rashawn tapped into earlier, yeah. man. The, the barges are iconic. Yes, yes. absolutely. And yes. how could we pass on the opportunity yeah. like this? Yeah. You know what I mean? I dressed up as a DeBarge for Halloween. Yeah. Mm. And it went viral. Yeah, and it was like, and that's, yo. It's not a joke. That you probably helped you get the role. No, what that's what it started. It, did, it was it like, the script is out. We want, we saw you. Like, come on in. But of yeah. course, all the stuff, other work that we did that mm. led up to this. Absolutely, but It's absolutely. just funny how things play out. Exactly. Absolutely, you never crazy. know. You yeah. never know how it's gonna go down. But um, after being a part of um, Bobby DeBarge's story, yes. okay, he was a very dynamic person, mm -hmm. extremely yeah. dynamic. What was it about him that was most shocking that you guys learned with being a part of, of, the, of his story? You know, honestly, most shocking. I, I think. Oh, I think you know, it was I've, a lot of layers to him. Now. Yes, it was so a lot of layers. layers. I've yeah. come up. I've come up in the mu you know in the music industry mm -hmm. for for a while now. You know, and I, I have a huge passion, like Rashawn talked about. You know, with music. So, you know, I've studied artists like Bobby DeBarge. Mm -hmm. You know, coming up. I, I, my, a lot of my um, favorite artists are old school. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, so yeah. I, I've always kind of paid attention and tried to be as observant as possible, trying to get into the industry and do the same thing as mm -hmm. they've done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because you get caught up in the fame, you get caught yeah, up in the drugs, right. you get yeah, caught yeah. up in the lifestyle. Yeah. So I wasn't really shocked so much. I think that learning a little deeper about his 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 life outside of the yes. music though, mm -hmm. just gave me a little more respect for him, even though it was kind of like, man, it's sad that you had to go through this. Mm -hmm. It's like, I respect that you did this, right. not even knowing you were doing it for artists like me. Right. Right. Artists right. like right. us, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. okay, we're gonna segue into something fun really quick. What's okay. up? Okay, so tell us, <laughs> what was <laughs> the fun. craziest thing that's ever happened on set? On, oh, wait, 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 on this set? On or this set? set. No, I'm gonna you know, see how we gotta look at Blue. The Bobby DeBarge story set. I would have to say, the whole thing was crazy. It really was. <laughs> oh, you, got, you got all these light skins. <laughs> At once. I, I mean, how can you? How does it not? Like, what a camera. Light skin is back with this. Period. Back, back, back. Can, you stop? can we go ahead and just mark that? Is it official now? Like, don't sleep on it. I wow. wake up. Light skin back. It was a lot of fun. A lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of energy. Yeah. It's light bright time. All right. All right. Well, really quickly, See, what's I next for each of you? Run them out. Uh, for me, you know, I actually just dropped a, uh, an album. Uh, it's yes, called sir. 98. Mm. It's all on right, all digital now. platforms right mm. now. You can find that everywhere. Check that out. Exactly. I mm. uh, just started my, my label, Third Voice Music Group. Mm. Mm. You know, so, um, yeah, just climbing, getting more into the acting. This is my first acting role, so, you okay. know, now I got the bug, you know. Yeah. So I'm trying to be like this guy, you know, yeah. so yeah. I can get on here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. real quick, uh, we are currently filming the second season of Monogamy. Yeah, okay. We're on that right now in Las Vegas. 
what else coming? Nighthawks is coming. My yeah. brother's keeper is coming. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a lot of, of stuff Anything? coming. <laughs> really <laughs> quick, Evo, really quick. Evo, check it out. Yeah. It's new music dropping. We're doing some different things. Just, you know, keep your ears open. Well, yeah. you heard it for yourselves, guys. Listen, thank you so much for joining us yeah. and hanging out. Be sure to catch the amazing man, these amazing men in TV One's movie, the original movie, The Bobby DeBarge Show. It premieres Saturday on TV One.